Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lyric. <clears throat> Today, I'd like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Capricorn. Um, I'm going to be using all the same cards as I did for my cancer reading because I'm really excited to get familiar with the, with the decks that I purchased. Um, and so I want to say in advance that I'm not familiar with the decks. So if that's something that um, puts you off or you're not, um, if you're, if you are interested in what it's like to learn tarot, this video might be helpful for you. Um, it's okay to stumble. It's okay to, um, to not know everything. It's okay to doubt your intuition. Um, because we don't know. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate our intuition from our ego, um, from our feelings. Like it's just, um, it's, it's a practice. So, um, I hope that you do get something out of this reading and I hope that, um, this reading is good for you. So let's get started. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? So I'm going to do this shuffle. Okay. I'm going to do this again. Okay. Let's see what we've got. And the first card says Archangel Uriel. Bright, uh, it says brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So this could be something that you've been struggling with. Maybe you have had this intuitive um, gut feeling and you're like, am I being ridiculous? Am I being crazy right now? Should I really... Um, attempt to do this and what source is saying is that yes go after it go after your dreams go after um, those um, silly nudges take um, be bold and, and um, take risks okay let's get some more messages uh, messages for Capricorn what do they need to know for their highest good messages for Capricorn what do they need to know for their highest good? Okay. And we've got breathe, Archangel Raphael. <clears throat> take, whoopsie, take several deep breaths and exhale, exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So that's um, an awesome um, card of healing and revelation and um, just a recognition that we're not perfect, that we make mistakes, that um, through our mistakes is where we learn and um, just take your time and don't give up, okay? Especially on your great ideas, especially on um, fulfilling visions, okay? So I'm going to use these um, Pima Children's Compassion Cards. So these are like some of the um, term, um, terminology might not be familiar to you, but I'll try my best to help you understand what it means, okay? But basically these cards are going to teach us how to be compassionate towards ourselves and towards others, okay? So um, let's get some messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Capricorn. Wikes. Messages for Capricorn. I'm going to do this actually. Let's get. Go again. Okay, so the first card you, you have, it's the number four, and it says self liberate, even the antidote. And it says. Do not hang on to anything, even the realization that there's nothing solid to hold on to. This earth and this world and this reality is transitory. Um, our, our lives are transitory. Consciousness is transitory. There's something that is constantly um, evolving and going. But um, we don't really have the ability to cling to that. Okay, let's get another message for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. So the next card you have is the number five. 
and it says, Rest in the nature of Eliah, the essence. There is a resting place, a starting place that you can always return to. You can always bring your mind back home and rest right here, right now, in present, unbiased awareness. So I really feel that this connects to the Breathe card that uh, take, um, take some time to relax, to focus, to, um, or to unfocus, to um, unattach your, th your thoughts and unattach um, your desires into just um, present awareness, okay? And um, the downloads will come, the channeling will come, the insight will come. You just have to trust that it, it's coming. And it might not be in that moment, but it's coming for you. Don't worry, okay? So I'm going to pull the tarot now. We're going to use Aleister Crowley's tarot, the Toth. I've heard people say the name um, in a lot of funny different ways. But um, Thoth is how I say it, I think. Thoth. But now I've heard other people say it in a couple of different ways, and so now I'm not quite sure. But that's okay. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? So we're going to do this now. Message. Whoa. Okay, let's see what we got down there. Hold on. Okay. Wah. Okay. And indolence. The eight of cups. The ace of cups. The three of cups. And the world card. Wow, that's very interesting. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, let's see here. So... You have this, um, in the recent past, you have this um, feeling of indolence, this feeling of um, not sure of what matters and not sure of the truth of things. That you are, um, you have these three empty cups up here uh, in the higher realms and they're empty. That you are, um, I feel that you're a seeker. That you're seeking um, sustenance from source. Um, I feel that you've tread the mill. That you have um, uh, done all those things on earth. with Found success. You've gotten married possibly. You've bought a house. And um, it's left you not feeling satisfied. It's left you feeling, having this sense of indolence. And... Um, you want you you want you have a craving to fill your cups, okay. and you're not sure of um, what that looks like or where to start. Um, in the um, present energy, you have the three of cups and the ace of cups, so a willingness to um, to fill these three cups here, a willingness. Um, and I have to tell you that your willingness is your um, divine drive. It's your divine motivation. It's that feeling that you're probably pushing aside and you're like, you know what? This is a little bit ridiculous. I don't need to go into the Himalayan mountains and sit underneath a tree and walk with monks. That is crazy. That's what weird people do. But you have a, an, um, an, inkl an inkling to try something different, to try um, practicing yoga, to um, seek an energy healer, to ask bigger questions, to, to, to consider what your purpose is here, to learn more about um, the ancient teachings of our forefathers, to consider where you've come from. Like you're, you crave that. that I, I, I can tell. I, I can sense that in, in the cards here. In the outcome energy, you have the world card. So you want answers. You're, you definitely um, want some kind of answers. I'm going to pull some clarifying cards on this one. Tell me. Let's get some. I'm going to use my, right, my more traditional deck here to clarify the Eon card. Um, because I feel that this pressing question has been with you for a while, that, um, it's something that you experienced as a young person and you pushed it aside and decided to move forward the way that everyone else moves forward. And then this, um, as you've, um, come up in middle age, this question has still presented itself to you. And now you have the ability to, um, or the desire to take care of that and to re and to see what it's all about. But, um, let's clarify the Eon card. Tell me more about this Eon card for Capricorn. Tell me more about this Eon card. Tell me.
tell me more about this Eon card. Okay, four of pentacles, then three of swords. You, um, so a lot of fear and heartache. Uh, wanting to, um, I feel that you, you, you've, what, what came into my mind is that you're holding on to um, pain in, within the body, within the person. And um, you're seeking um, spiritual guidance to relieve this pain. That, um, but I, I, I hear that you're afraid. That you're afraid of, um, maybe you're afraid of what others are going to think. Maybe you're afraid of it not working. Maybe you have a fear that you're always going to live in pain. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that there, okay? And I'm going to pull some more cards for you. Okay. Let's get some more messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Capricorn. What do they need to know for their highest good? Next, these are falling everywhere. Okay, we'll just pull them. And we've got the Nine of Wands, the Strength card. The Four of Swords. The Eight of Swords. And the Prince of Cups. Wow. And I'm really, that Prince of Cups really tells me um, patience and sacrifice and success there. Um, it's going to be a battle for you um, to kind of, um, the struggle to kind of um, find your way, to find your niche, to find um, what works for you. Because there is a lot um, of choices that you have. There's a lot of things that you could try. But um, your heart um, is in the right place and your mind is in the right place. And um, this Eight of Wands signifies that this is a spiritual path and this is a, um, a new beginning for you. And um, a lot of us start the spiritual journey um, out of fear and um, uh, avoidance of pain. So that's, um, that's okay. And um, you have the, the Four of Swords and um, the Eight of Swords. So a little bit of conflicting energy here in this um, uh more in this, and this is um, also in the present um, energy uh, field as well. So it's like I want to heal, and I don't know if I can, and other people's interference, and um, having to go in the recognition of having to kind of go to war for oneself, having to really um, set boundaries, having to really assess one's life, having to assess one's um, what one has done. And um, the, a willingness to say, I, you know, I was in the wrong here. Or um, I need to um, set things right in this situation. So you do have an awareness of these things. But I do feel that you have a little bit of, of um, conflicting um, thinking here. But um, I'm not too concerned with that because you have um, the Prince of Cups. And if you notice this... Um, this bird here, which represents peace and the spirit. Um, and I feel that you're going to overcome that and that you're going to um, uh, break through those barriers of, of self-doubt, okay? And I feel that you will pursue this higher um, path. So those are all the messages that I have for you, Capricorn. I'll see you in the next one.